Hey, what's going on guys? Making this quick little video on how to mount your NASA GPS uh, in relation to your center of gravity. So we're going through the configuration in the NASA software and this is what I have right here. So my X is three centimeters Y, negative three centimeters and Z is nine centimeters. So let me explain how that works. Um, so we have the, I'm just gonna call my center of gravity right here. So um, my X is three centimeters, so that means three centimeters forward. If you're, if you're positioning your GPS back here somewhere, uh, it would be negative three centimeters. That's, I'm assuming that you're gonna mount it to one of these positions like I have. So I have it just screwed into these uh, four screws right here. And then my Y position is negative three. So that means um, to the left, so negative three centimeters to the left. And then the Z is negative nine centimeters. So that means from where this is, nine centimeters down. Okay, it's not positive, it's negative. So, so if, uh, if this top plate right here is your center of gravity, you are saying that this plate is nine centimeters below the GPS, so nine centimeters down. If for some odd reason you mount this on the bottom of your quad, then it would maybe it would be a positive value, but it's not. I don't know anyone who would do that, but um, so yeah, ne negative nine centimeters down for me. That's how that's how long this uh, this post is right here. So I made this uh, quick little drawing in uh, in Photoshop. So if you want to copy like uh, how I did and mount your GPS uh, directly to one of those four screws on here. This is what your values may look like, okay? Um, corresponding to, you know, negative and positive values depending on where you mount it. So uh, hopefully this helps you out, guys. And let me know if you have any questions. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.